Humans are social and depend strongly on being in a group to survive. So making friends is very important to most people. It is just one of our survival tactics. But there is a small group of men that don't care about group conformity. They are highly independent and extremely capable of taking care of themselves. Sure, they still need to relate with others. So they do that. But getting close to these lone rangers is very unlikely. These men are Sigma males. They can be likened to Sigma wolves who are detached from the pack, yet are extremely capable as individuals. I will explain why Sigma men usually have a very small circle of friends and why this actually makes them more efficient than every other male personality. This is the Mastro channel where men get their daily dose of motivation. Hit the subscribe button and let's get down to business. Number one, they have a unique way of thinking that others can't relate with. To understand this, let me tell you about a Sigma man, Friedrich Nietzsche. He was a brilliant philosopher and possessed a mind that defied convention. Amidst a society bound by traditional values, he dared to challenge popular beliefs. Nietzsche's intellect roamed like a free spirit, questioning the foundations of morality and religion. He saw the human condition as an opportunity to transcend limitations and embrace personal power. His philosophy of the will to power called for individuals to embrace their uniqueness and strive for self-mastery. Despite fierce opposition from the mainstream, he remained undeterred. He was a man that stood against anti-Semitism and the idea that Germans were the most superior people on earth, even when it was unpopular to do so. This Sigma philosopher would go on to say, the individual has always had to struggle to keep from being overwhelmed by the tribe. If you try it, you will be lonely often and sometimes frightened, but no price is too high to pay for the privilege of owning yourself. This perfectly captures the mindset of Sigma men. They are ready to stand alone and against everyone else because they choose to think for themselves. Sigma men are divergent and it can be tough for them to make other people understand the way they see things. Two, their expectations are too high. If there is an easy way, people will find it and take it even if it will not give them the best results. Being lazy is just a human thing. We just don't want to push ourselves too hard. It is funny, but sadly true that humans prefer when other people think for them. That is why society operates on a lot of meaningless norms, because people are just following what others are doing without even thinking about it. But Sigma men would take the hard path everyone else is unwilling to take. And if you want to be friends with a Sigma male, you had better be ready to push yourself to the limit. These men take the mantra, no pain, no gain seriously. They are by no means lazy. They think very hard and they work hard. Sigma men would take the easy path if it is available, but then nothing good comes easy. If it was easy to be successful, rich and exceptional, than everyone would be, but it is not easy so most people are struggling because they prefer the easy part. It makes no sense to Sigma men why anyone would not want to push themselves hard to reach their pinnacle. Sigma men would never be friends with lazy loafers or those who cannot develop themselves intellectually. 3. Not enough Sigma men to go around. In the wild, Sigma wolves would often pair with other Sigma wolves for short intervals. This is also true for Sigma men. They prefer the company of other Sigma men. If you have been paying attention, the reason why they do this would be obvious to you already. Sigma men cannot be friends with a wide range of personalities because of their high expectations. The best friends Sigma men can have are other Sigma men. Unfortunately, the Sigma personality is one that is very rare. So the chances of a Sigma male having a handful of other Sigmas as friends are pretty narrow. 4. Not interested in fads. This is a generation that is well-defined by fads and trends. About one out of every four persons in the world has a TikTok account, and even those who are not on the platform are influenced by the trends from the platform. Then we have Instagram and Facebook where people post fake versions of themselves just to feel good about themselves. The whole world is in turmoil and most people 
are more interested in people doing the most mundane things than in those who are actually exceptional. This is a world that Sigma men cannot relate to. Not because they are too old to understand the fads, but because they are too smart to fall for things that add no value to their lives. It is important to note that there are Sigma males in all generations, so it has nothing to do with age. The Sigma man recognizes that fads are ephemeral by nature. They emerge swiftly, captivating the collective imagination, only to fade away just as quickly. While others rush to embrace the latest trend, he observes from a distance, patiently evaluating its worth and impact. They recognize that fads, by their very nature, are designed to appeal to the masses and cater to short-lived desires. The Sigma man is not easily swayed by such superficial attractions. He values substance over style. The problem is, he is alone. Almost everyone is carried away with fads and being in tune with the latest trends. Sigma men are unable to make meaningful connections with others because there is simply nothing to talk about and nothing to look forward to as the Sigma male's interests are not so popular. 5. Sigma men want to be alone. Sigma men are alone rangers. They enjoy being alone. A day spent alone is a day well spent for these men because it is in such moments that Sigma men truly feel connected to their innermost being. A Sigma man may sit and watch the flickering of a candle flame or the stars in the night sky, and he feels happy and content with the joys of pondering on life. Such moments are more meaningful to these men than being with a crowd. Sigma men would choose reminiscence over having fun. Solitude offers a unique sanctuary where the Sigma mind can roam freely, untethered by the demands and distractions of social obligations. In the solitude of their own company, these men find wisdom. Thoughts are born and introspective journeys are embarked upon. It is in this sacred space that they cultivate a deeper understanding of themselves, exploring the depths of their emotions, thoughts, and aspirations. Solitude provides the canvas upon which they can paint their own intellectual landscape, unburdened by the opinions and judgments of others. It is here that they can engage in the delicate dance of self-discovery, peeling back the layers of their own existence and uncovering hidden truths that lie dormant in the recesses of their souls. Contrary to societal norms, the choice of solitude over an extensive social network is not a sign of antisocial behavior or an inability to connect with others. Rather, it reflects a conscious decision to prioritize depth over superficiality, introspection over external validation, and personal growth over the need for constant affirmation. Sigma men recognize that true companionship, the kind that transcends the bounds of casual acquaintance, is forged through meaningful connections and shared values, rather than the mere quantity of friendships. 6. Most things are a waste of their time. Sigma men value their time a lot. They would not just give their time away to any activity for the fun of it. These men would rarely complain that they are bored. They think almost parties, social events, and socialization are a waste of time because most are only because participants have nothing better to do with their time. While Sigma men would sometimes make time for such trivialities, they never lose consciousness of the fact that socializing is most often just for the fun of it. This is a mindset that keeps Sigma men from venturing out to have fun and meet new people. The few times Sigma men would make out time to socialize, they do it with people who mean much to them. Hence, their small circle is kept as it is. 7. Not likely to initiate a friendship. Sigma men are very hard to impress, so they rarely come across people whom they think they need to be friends with. This means it is highly unlikely for these lone wolves to be the first to initiate friendship, and because of this, they reduce the probability of making new friends. 8. Sigma men have fun differently. The concept of fun or leisure differs widely from person to person, so what is fun could be boring to some other people. Why the case of Sigma men is different because what these men think is leisure, other people see them as work. For example, Sigma men think learning something new is a fun activity. 
they would most likely be tuned to DYI TV programs or learning history. And all these activities are fun activities to Sigma men. But most people would think this is work or boring. So it is hard for Sigma men to find others that share their passions. And don't forget that having sober moments of solitude is considered refreshing for Sigma men. They are not party animals, so expect them to be available for night outs. Number 9. They don't want people demanding their attention. The price of having a lot of friends is you have to give each of them time. What makes them feel that your friendship is important is the amount of time you invest into the relationship. Sigma men are simply not ready to pay this price. They cannot endure friends disrupting their plans, so they would rather have very few friends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and watch this one as well. Thanks for watching.